My name is Chris Mills and I am the branch manager of the Greenwich and North Fairfield Library locations for the Huron County Community Library and I'd like to welcome you to our first unboxing video. For those of you who aren't familiar, unboxing videos are kind of this internet phenomenon where they take out new products, sometimes toys, and look at them and usually give a quick review. So what we're going to be looking at today are new books that are going onto the shelves at the Greenwich Library. If you see a title you like, you can request it from any of our library locations or stop in at one of them and we will help you out. So let's get started. Our first title today is the latest Jane Hawk novel by Dean Koontz. This is called The Night Window. So another installment into that long running series. Speaking of long running series, our next title is James Patterson's. This is the 18th abduction. So this is another one of the Women's Murder Club. Um, so if you're into that one, if you've been following that long series, here's a brand new one. Um, speaking of other series, here's Robert B. Parker's um, Buckskin. It's now being written by Robert Knott, but he's taken over the series and is doing a pretty good job with it to continue that Western series. Um, this is a title that's been getting a lot of buzz lately. It's called The Farm. And it is a somewhat dystopian view of the future where women who decide they don't want to keep their child are put onto this baby farm for wealthy people and apparently some intrigue ensues with that. Um, a new book from Robin Carr, always popular at our library, The View from Alameda Island. Um, this is being described as a blissful beach read, it says on the back. So there you go. Perfect for summer. Lisa Jackson, Willing to Die. This is another um, one in her Alvarez and Reagan series. So if you like suspense and thrillers. Seven or Eight Deaths of Stella Fortuna. This one's getting a lot of buzz. I've heard a lot of real positive reviews about it. Um, it's about a woman who is raised in Italy, comes to the United States during World War II to raise her family. Jeffrey Deaver is back with The Never Game. Um, this has back cover blurbs from Lee Child, Harlan Coben, Steve Barry, and Karen Slaughter. So if you like any of those authors, if you've never tried Jeffrey Deaver, there's another one. If you're one of his diehard readers, we have a lot of them in our library. Come in and pick this one up, The Never Game. John Sanford has another Lucas Davenport novel. This one's Neon Prey, so another one in the Prey series. Mary Kay Andrews, this title just screams summer. Look at that cover. Sunset Beach, uh, her books, if you've never picked one up, are, I'd say, for fans of Debbie McComber, but with a little bit more sass. Um, this is a perfect beach read, something nice and light to take with you on vacation, but a good story nonetheless. I've got, oh, Danielle Steele, perennial favorite around here. This is Blessing in Disguise. Um, this is another contemporary novel. She's kind of delved into historical fiction, but this is going to be another contemporary title by the long-running author. I've got one, a new author, The Last Time I Saw You. Um, if you read her first book, The Last Mrs. Parrish, um, this is going to be Suspense and Intrigue. So there's one for you, The Last Time I Saw You. The Book Woman of Troublesome Creek. Uh, this is set in the 1930s, and it's based on a true story of a woman who developed a horse library that traveled throughout Appalachia and the hills. So this is kind of historical fiction. Speaking of historical fiction, Jennifer Chiverini, The Resistance Women. Uh, she is always a popular author for anyone that likes well-researched historical fiction that has a good story as well. The Cliff House by Rayanne Thane. If you haven't read her, she is going to be a lot like Robin Carr. Um, and some of the other, Danielle Steele, if you like her, Ellen Hildebrand, um, this would be another read alike for that. So a good story for summer. Let's see, Hope on the Inside, Marie Bostwick, uh, also a popular author. She does a quilt series. These are a little bit more sweet stories. Um, 
about people overcoming odds um, and making their way back out into the world again. The Key to Happily Ever After. This one's a good beach read, kind of romance, but light and fun. The Wonder of Lost Causes by Nick Trout. Um, Nick Trout is a veterinarian who has recently delved into fiction about animals. Um, kind of have a feeling, I don't know, it's got a dog on the cover. Might be kind of sad. I don't know though. So someone come in and pick it up and let me know. Whose Waves Are These? This is historical fiction written um, about some kind of town intrigue that takes place the end of World War II bounces back and forth between then and present day. I'd say reminiscent of like Nicholas Sparks in that genre. The Guest Book by Sarah Blake. This is also historical fiction. It starts in 1936 and runs up with this family and just kind of their trying times through the years. The Gillespie County Fair. This is a very short, so it might be a good one to try for summer, short little novel about a town that is struggling to kind of maintain its identity as a small farm town and its newfound tourist attractions. And my last fiction book for this month is The Road Home by Richard Paul Evans. This is another one of his Broken Road series, so if you've read the first two, Stop in, get this one, it'll finish up, or you can stop in and pick up all three. We have all of them at the Greenwich Library. So that's going to do it for our adult fiction. Thank you for joining me. Come in and pick up any of these titles or place a hold at your library. And thank you.